Good morning Year 7, it's Mrs Reed here and welcome to our last lesson of English for the week. That takes us up to Lesson 8 and today we're focusing on writing. So before you start, can you make sure that you are all ready? That you have your exercise book or some paper ready to go? That you've got yourself a pen or a pencil to write with? That you have a coloured pen, a highlighter perhaps, or a pencil if you want to be self-marking. And also make sure that you've got rid of all distractions, that you're ready just to focus fully on the lesson. So pause the video and get yourself ready now, please. Okay, let's make a start. So, the first task to do today asks you to practice using commas in a list. Now, we've practiced this a couple of times recently, so I'm sure you'll be very good at it. Can you remember the rules for using commas in a list? Right, so now we're going to go to mastering this. You need to use the picture to help you write the sentences. So, you need to describe who is sat around the campfire. You need to explain what the campers are sat on. And you also need to tell what the campers ate. This will mean you need to use all of the words in the box underneath the picture. Can you see that they can be divided up into categories? Who's there? What they are sat on? And what they are eating. Okay, so I want you to pause the video and show me what you know. Write me three sentences that use commas in a list. Pause the video and do that now. Okay, well done. So just check those sentences, please, before we move on. I want you to make sure that they start with a capital letter and that they end with a full stop. Can you check that for sentence one, two and three, please? Okay, good work. Let's have a look at the next task. So, this time you're going to be punctuating when it happened. So, let's recap the rule. When you start with when it happened, you put a comma right after when it happened. Okay, say that rule with me. Let's say it together. When you start with when it happened, you put a comma right after when it happened. Good. Now say it on your own. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, let's look at the example. The example says, when James fell off his chair, comma, Amir laughed hysterically. <laughs> so you can see that the part of the sentence that starts, um, sorry, the part of the sentence that tells when it happened is at the front, is at the start, so we're going to follow it with a comma. Now there's a new rule. The new rule is this. Listen, you don't use a comma if when it happened is at the end of the sentence. Can you say that with me? You don't use a comma if when it happened is at the end of the sentence. Okay, one more time, this time on your own. Three, two, one. Good. So let's look at the example. It says, Amir laughed hysterically when James fell off his chair. Can you see that here at the bottom of the screen? Because the part that tells when it happened is at the end of the sentence, we don't need to use a comma. In fact, if I tried to place a comma at the after the part that tells when, it would be where the full stop goes, and that can't be right. So I can use that as a way to help me remember. 
when the part that tells when is at the start of the sentence, a comma after. When it's at the end of the sentence, no comma after. OK, that's two rules that I would like you to apply to your writing. Let's have a go. So, your task is to rewrite these sentences. Listen. If when it happened is at the start, I want you to move it to the end of the sentence. If when it happened is at the end, I would like you to move it to the start of the sentence. Okay. So, a trickier task this time. You need to make sure in each sentence you move the part that tells when. You also need to follow the comma rules. If the part that tells when is at the start, what do you do? You move it to the end. If the part that tells when is at the end, what do you do? You move it to the start. If the part that tells when is at the beginning, do we need to use a comma? Yes. If the part that tells when is at the end, do we need to use a comma? No. OK. Pause the video and complete that task now, please. OK, well done. Before we move on, I want you to check your sentences. Can you think what I'm going to ask you to check here? Yep, you got it. I would like you to check your capital letters. Make sure each of the sentences begins with a capital. Finally, do your full step. Step? Do your full stop. Step. I would like you to check that each of your sentences ends with the full stop. Off you go. Brilliant. Let's have a go at one more rule. This time, you are mastering how to punctuate speech. I know you do this brilliantly when we're in school, so I think you can do it just as well now you're at home. Listen to the rule first. If the sentence starts with the word someone said, put a comma before the final speech marks. Say that with me. If the sentence starts with the word someone said, put a comma before the final speech marks. OK, on your own this time. Three, two, one. OK, good job. Let's look at the sentences together. I can see that there is uh, a lot of punctuation missing. Let's look at the first one. Number one. I want to return this package, Karim said. OK, so I must remember that I need to put speech marks either side of the exact words that someone said. I also need to think about whether or not I need a comma and include a full stop. OK. Let's have a look at sentence one again. I'm going to read it now as it should sound. Speech marks. I want to return this package, comma, speech marks. Corinne said, full stop. I think you should have a go at number one. Pause the video and do that now. OK, I'm going to go through number two and then you can have a go at the rest on your own. So listen, number two. This is my favourite book, the lady said. OK, so this starts with the exact words someone says so I must put a comma before the final speech marks. Listen to it corrected. Speech marks, capital T. This is my favourite book, comma, speech marks, the lady said, full stop. OK, have a go at number two now. OK, over to you. I want you to do your best. 
Now work through sentences three, four, five and six. Don't forget to apply the rule. Pause the video and do that now please. Have you done your final checks? Check that each sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Right, so what can I do next? Well, number one, you need to check your answers on the next few slides. We're going to mark them together, so you may wish to use a different colour pen for this. Number two, you can send a picture of your work to me on Show My Homework or by email. OK, number one, let's check those commas in a list. So, number one should look like this. The men, comma, women and the children sat round the campfire, full stop. Can you check that one? Good. Give yourself a tick if you've got that right. Number two, the campers sat on logs, comma, tree stumps and rugs, full stop. You may have put those items in a different order. That doesn't matter, but you must make sure that the comma comes after the first item in the list. Give yourself a tick if you've got that one right. Number three. They ate soup, comma, sandwiches and marshmallows, full stop. Check you've got a capital T. Check the comma is in the right place and check there's a full stop at the end. Give yourself a mark if you've got that one right and finally give yourself a mark out of three. Let's go and check the next part. Okay. Number one. As he drank his coffee, comma, Sulef gazed out of the window. Good. Check that you have a comma after the part that tells when. Make sure you have a capital A and that your sentence has a capital S for Sulef because this is a name. Also check there's a full stop at the end and when you're done give yourself a tick. Number two, the class trooped back to lessons after break full stop. Can you see the difference here? In this sentence, the part that tells when is at the end. It says after break. This means that we don't need to use a comma. So check a capital T at the beginning and check the full stop at the end. Good. Number three, every summer, comma, the family went on holiday full stop. Okay, why? Do I need to use a comma in this sentence? If you said because it begins with the part that tells when, you're right. Every summer is the part that tells when. So we follow it with a comma. Check a capital E at the beginning and check the full stop at the end and give yourself a tick. Number four. John sniffed the food before he ate it. OK, why do I not need a comma in this sentence? That's right, because it ends with a part that tells when. In this case, I need to check a capital J for the name John and a full stop at the end. Brilliant, guys. Give yourself a mark out of four. We're on to the last check. This time there's six answers, so go, go slowly and carefully through your work. Number one, quote marks, or speech marks I'll call them. Speech marks, capital I. I want to return this package, comma, speech marks, capital K for Karim. Karim said, full stop. Check each of those things and give yourself a tick. Number two, speech marks, capital T. This is my favourite book, comma, speech marks. The lady said, 
full stop. Give yourself a tick if you got that right. Don't forget that if you have missed any parts out, this is the time to be adding them into your work, okay? Self-correcting and changing is a really important part of what we do. So if you've got it wrong, make sure you write it out correctly instead. Number three, speech marks, capital T. The wedding was moving, comma, speech marks. The old man said, full stop. Give yourself a tip. Number four, speech marks, capital D. Do not be late again, comma, speech marks. Capital M, my teacher said, full stop. Number five, speech marks, capital Y. You need to eat more fruit, comma, speech marks. Capital D, doctor, capital B, black, said, full stop. Wow, we're doing really well here and we've got one more to go. Number six, speech marks, capital D. Don't be afraid to call, comma, speech marks, capital A, Alex said to me, full stop. Give yourself a mark out of six. Right, well done everyone. That was lots of sentence practice today. Practicing comma rules, practicing speech punctuation, and you are doing a really good job. Please send me excellent examples of your work. I'd love to see it. And I will see you all on Monday. Bye bye.